today we will go through this in detail not just basic last time we went through basic today we will see all the methods and expressions which are required to perform on list and operations which can be useful for us so let's start id Now let us assign our first list. We can go through a couple of basics from last time. To list numbers. First is the calculation of length of the list. So we can do it by len L, which is length. If you want, we if we need to have another list like suppose eight, nine, and ten, then we can do it as L plus L two. So this will not store it. We can store it in like L3 equals to L plus L2. So the new list is the combination of both L and L2. Apart from this, last time we saw the repetition in list. For example, if you have a list, suppose you can take OS equals to Linux many OS equals to OS into four. So our many OS will be Linux. So we can multiply our list, we can repeat it and add it like many elements in the list apart from that we needed a truthy statement for example i can do os equals to let us say my favorite os equals to windows ubuntu Linux Mint. Okay. So for that, if I want to check if Mac in favorite OS. So it will return false. We can also write an if statement. Print. Still, it will fail. Okay. 
Okay, let me create here my favorite OS equals to Windows. Here. Yeah, right. Thanks. No, it is because of syntax error. It is not supporting this one. Let us do it in this only. Yeah. That is also right. Ubuntu. Next make what I can say is J2. Okay. If Mac in my parent OS print Mac I'll sprint Now we can save it in C code. Let us run it. There should be okay. There's one more another, it, it is like not in. So this has printed like a reverse of what we wanted to execute our logic. For example, here the logic is if I don't like Mac, Mac in favorite OS, I don't like Mac. Else I am fan of Mac. So in that case, I had to shift the print statement. But right now, what I can do it here is that if Mac not in my favorite OS, then I don't like Mac. Else, I am fan of Mac. No, it is right. I don't like Mac. Apart from that, suppose I add Mac here. No, this is right. Apart from Truthy, what we can do is let's do some replacement and all, etc. So, what we can simply cover is suppose if you have a matrix, I say 1, 2, 3, and this is 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now, if you do, okay, let's see how we can get the elements from the list. For example, list one equals to, as we saw last time, and if you want to print every element in the list, you can use for loop. We have not covered this in earlier but yeah if anyone knows for loop then you can use it otherwise we can cover it later for i in list one print i we can print every element but of what we want what if we want to print like matrix if we try to add access matrix 
zeroth element so it is 1 2 3 it is in another list first element so if i want to print every element in matrix what if we want to access the inner element so if you want to access the last element of the zero row if you want to access 3 then we are accessing this is the zeroth element of the matrix list and in that list we are accessing zeroth element so zero zero and when you want to access 3 we are accessing zero element and third if we want to print this in for loop okay yeah for is the function that can be used to iterate over elements so element for example if you want to iterate over some sequences we can cover this in next session yeah we can cover for loop afterward otherwise it might be confusing also there is one more thing since we saw last time that string is immutable like we cannot change the string we have to store it in another variable but list is like mutable for example if i say groceries list now I'm going to cross V and I'm selecting X and then bread butter milk. Okay, now suppose I have went to Gossi and I'm doing this shopping and I want to like change this list to my grocery list from bread to Honey. So, bread is which element? It is first element. So, groceries and list and first element. Let us replace with honey. So, if we check now, versus list would be x honey butter milk. So this is one way, for example, if I want to add in between like X and I do groceries list, my first two element, my first two elements. Okay. So if I want to change to change something like this what if what happens if I do the replacement for the index let us see equals to um, what you can do is rice So it has replaced the first two elements because we added only two elements and it has from 0 to 3 it has replaced and made it to the two elements. Now after this what we can do is that we have now what we have covered we have covered indexing we have covered replacement 
what we can cover okay we can cover some functions okay now what we can do is that for example let us cover some small functions if i want to sort it again let us make our process list equals to let us put everything else red butter milk Yes. No. Notified process in the studio of sort. So sort is the command which can which will sort your list of alphabetically. So Bread is first, butter is second, eggs is third, milk is third, fourth, rice and wheat. So this is the command which can sort it alphabetically. What if you want to see your sorting list or process list in reverse? It is again this way. And you can put it up reversed. Okay, this will return. You can see that it is showing some information. And if this is a sequence, so that's why you will not get it. You need to convert the sequence in the list. Now you can see we have reversed everything from rice to wheat to x to x is at the last and wheat is at the end. And let us suppose one more example to understand other operation. For example, you are going for shopping and I have like shopping list equals to empty so we are in a mall and what i do is that i add to my cart shopping list dot there is one function append so what append does is that it will add to your list some whatever the elements you put so i say t-shirt so we see now shopping underscore list is it has one element t-shirt again i go to another store and I add fruits okay so append is the function that appends like it adds elements after elements let us add one more element like x No. But suppose you went to one store and you wanted like to add some more thing. For example, I went to my another grocery store and I added I want to add exactly three items to my list. So if I do it like this, so let us suppose say grocery equals to Maggie, wheat, and rice. So we can directly, if we want to add all the three elements in our list, so we can use the function extend. So what extend will be that it will add everything at once, all the list items within list items. So we do now is we have Maggie view tricks. See, this is a list, and it has taken out all the elements of the list and added it at the last. Now, apart from this, if we do shop underscore list and 
suppose if i had done the operation append so just so now what we have is shopping list so you can see it has added the list item in it so we don't need this one so if you want to delete it what you will do there is one method like for example l dot pop pop you can do it pop means it will pop out and what is the length of the list let us see length of the list is Seven. So shopping underscore list dot pop seven. So no, length of the list is seven, so it should be seven minus one. So it is to seven minus one, and it has popped up. It has said what it has given up. So now let us what is shopping list, and it is like. Our old element. There is also one method insert. Suppose between first you want to buy t-shirt and second fruits, third x. But between t-shirt and fruit, you want to buy shoes. Shopping underscore list dot insert. So we will insert like this is zeroth element. This is first element. So first element we want our to be shoes. So let us say see what is happening here. So we have shoes here. So we have inserted it. So this is another method. So for example, you went to another shopping list and let us do it some more up and okay, and add again x and let us copy and add two three x. Okay. So now our shopping this will grow and grow. So now you want to see how many eggs you are buying. So you, what you can do is that shopping list dot common x. So you are going to buy total four eggs. Okay. And apart from this, what I can tell is we have covered for okay. Now, if you want to remove something, shopping list dot there is one pop pop. What pop does is that when you do a pop operation, it will also return what it has removed. But when you do remove operation, just remove operation. Let us remove shoes. I am going for shoes. It is not. It has not written any operation. So these two are things you can use remove when you don't want the element which you remove to be. Return as value. Uh, you can use pop in that case and remove when you don't want value. And there is also one delete like this. So if I want to delete, suppose last three items x and x and x. What I can do is let us calculate length of list. It is nine. Okay. So shopping. Underscore list dot is delete still delete shopping underscore list and what we want to delete the last element. Okay, so let us see shopping underscore list. And if you want to delete the last two statement. Then what you have to do? So this is okay. Let us see if we can do minus two. Okay, zero two minus two. It will work. Oh, it worked. Okay. So from zero to 
minus two, it has not done, and it has deleted everything. Cool. So. Can anyone guess what the operation should be? Okay, you can do minus one, two, minus three. Let us see what is our shopping list. Yeah, we can do it, but we need to put in minus. Okay. This is also possible, but that will take longer method. If we take positively. Okay. Zero to minus two, minus one to minus three. I think I will have to check this one out. Okay. As per this is possible. Okay, shopping list. Let's see. Minus three. So if we want to delete, we can do it. So let's see what is our shopping list. Hope it works. Yeah. So this were some of the methods which we can use while working with list. For more information, you can do something and try to practice the list. So next, next session, we will learn about dictionaries and all, etc. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Bye.